Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Cancer Weekly Money and Career Reading from June 10th to the 16th, 2024. Cancers, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Cancers Weekly Money and Career, June 10th to the 16th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the Hear Out for the Magic Word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of June. And yes, I have yet to announce the one for the month of May. I'm a little late on that. Apologies. Probably I will announce it. I will announce it in uh, in the live Sunday's live at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for anybody that's interested. Uh, if you become a member or if you're interested in supporting this channel or becoming an active member, I know it's not for everyone, but for anyone that is interested, uh, not only it supports the channel and helps the channel, but it also gives you an access to the live and to ask a tarot question during lives when I open the sessions. And we do have uh, Sunday sessions every, every Sunday at 12 noon. Sometimes it's open to everyone. Uh, sometimes it's for members only, but uh, the question session is always for members only. So if that's something you're interested in, we would love to have you on the team, part of the Card Minds Energy Base. It's a beautiful community. Um, check it out. All right, let's get started. Cancers, what do we have here? Ooh, Queen of Swords. She's been coming up a lot lately, speaking your mind, finding clarity, finding the truth, wanting to know the truth, having those harsh conversations, those meetings, uh, getting, uh, getting to, you know, go see the manager and speak your mind or speak up or ask those questions uh, that, you've been wanting to ask. It's also a card of empowerment, intellectual empowerment. So yes, you're, you're ready to go and figure things out, Cancers, and get, the, get some answers or get some information out of these people. Um, but it's also your moment to empower yourself for your ideas, right? Yes, for your dream, for your ideas. Um, to give your input, to um, suggest, to propose, to defend, to, you know, um, present your ideas. Don't be afraid to put that dream out there and to um, let people know what your ideas are. You're sharp. You're, you're in a sharp energy here where you're honest but at the same time you're you're how can i say this if you're criticizing and wanting these answers and having these harsh conversations or harsh questions to get the truth you're also um able to look at the facts and make decisions in a very honest way, in a very clear way. So you're connecting with people, um, understanding very well where you stand. It's not about emotions. It's not about who you are and how you're feeling and deep down uh, why you felt that way, you were hurt or you felt betrayed. Or, no, 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 it's not about emotions, it's about facts, ideas, intellectual empowerment. So I like this idea that you're able to separate yourself from what you're feeling so you can solve problems or come up with ideas to find solutions, right? Facts first. Facts 
first. I like that. And we have the Nine of Cups, which is a wish coming true, wish granted, that thing you've wanted, that idea you've wanted to develop, that idea you wanted to pitch. Maybe it's that thing you've been repeating for a while that you've been wanting to create, create your business, or that idea within that company that you've been trying to convince people of, right? Sometimes it takes a village to make people understand that maybe, you know, really to convince that maybe your idea is a very good idea. Now, may, this can be your own idea in your own business, your own project that you're developing, your music that you want to put out there, your product you want to put out there, your idea you want to put out there, right? It doesn't have to be you within a company, but you're not alone. There's a team there. So this is your wish. You're building what you wanted. Are you starting your own business? Have you convinced these people that your idea is pretty damn good? Maybe. And if not, it's time. It's your turn. Your, it's your turn to, it's almost like, yeah, I'm seeing, <laughs> that's very, very uh, sports. Everything's always sports related, right? I'm seeing it's your time to go up and, uh, pitch or you know pitch the idea your time to go up to bat but in a good way like um if you've been let's say you've been trying to get an appointment or a meeting or an interview with someone with a company or with people or investors or potential partners um you are it's time to to come together and um, be brilliant in your presentation. It's like, here you go. It's your time. Go for it. So we have the Six of Swords. You're leaving something behind. And you're moving so into something smoother, calmer. This is a calmer energy. So maybe once you pitch this idea... Or, you know, and then you move on uh, to develop it or you move on into a more serene energy where you're more comfortable with your team, more comfortable with these people, your company. It is a team. Um, it's almost like, okay, you pitched it, you convinced, or this is a product you can develop, or this is your what you wrote, your book, your song, your lyrics. It doesn't have to be creative. It can be pretty much anything. But it feels like you're moving into something more serene once you have convinced and got your wish. Maybe you wanted to be part of that team. Maybe you wanted to be part of that project, that company, or maybe you just want to put your idea out there, whatever that is. Comment down below. Let me know what this is. Because it feels like you you worked hard on this. The Nine of Cups is not something that pops up, like all of a sudden people hear you, all of a sudden people are convinced, or all of a sudden people are taking your idea and financing it, giving you money for it. It can be all that, but you've been you've tried before. You've been at it for a while. This is something you've believed in, you really believe in, and you really want to make happen. And this is the time where it's happening. Yes, and this is the time where it's happening, Two of Wands. Now you can plan. You're gonna to start to plan, Two of Wands. Um, you had that vision, you had that idea, you convinced people, you took, you, you can, you, you, you presented many times or you tried many times, right? And this is a moment where it's like bingo, bingo, it's working finally. And with this two of wands, it's just, you know, that progress forward that now it's opening. Now the job is opening now they believe in you. Now you're getting the finances to develop this. Now you're starting your business. Now you're taking on more responsibilities. You're getting a promotion, whatever it is, right? This nine of cups. 
now you can plan. Now you're moving forward. Wow, so this is a big transformation. What you've wanted has been uh, long coming. And so clearly it's a big transformation. It's something, it's, it can be a change of career with the, the death card. Um, you've battled, and yeah, I'm not surprised, five of wands. Like you've battled this out for a while. You've tried really, really hard to convince people and if it's not convincing, I keep saying convincing, but it's like, bingo, you got this. Bingo, it's time, right? Finally, finally, you get to start your business. Finally, you sold that product or that idea. Finally, you're part of that team. Finally, you get the job, right? You get it. And um, it has been a long time. And here, it's like, now that it's time, you... You're, ga you, you're gathering all your resources, you're gathering all your energy, all, all your knowledge, everything you've done up to now, right, with the strength card. The strength card is really uh, in control, but it's also um, really utilizing everything you've got, all that you've got to master this and push forward. To keep in control, but most of all, to master this. It's that strength of character that you have not backed down. You have hung in to convince. You have hung in to get that job, right? Or to get the money to start your business or to get that book published or to get that music out there. And again, I'm just, these are just a few examples and it does not have to be that at all everyone's going to be different it is going to be different for everyone right and so here it really shows your strength of character or the power you've had relentlessly trying to convince and now it is happening and you never back down so this is about harnessing your power to have that control over your environment over the other people and um it's almost it was it's almost now with like sort of a natural ability to control the situation intuitively to reach and achieve that goal with your surroundings with your environment like you've hung tight and now you got this wow it's impressive cancers it's very impressive and you fought hard long and hard so Congratulations to you. And look, we don't have aces. So this is something, you know, it just again confirms that you've been at this for a while. But it's something completely different with the death card. It's something, you know, while you now are able to move forward on this, it is also you leaving a whole lot behind because it's probably maybe a new career or at least accepting that this is a new chapter, right? And to start this, to build this, it is about um, accepting to leave the past behind, whatever it was, whatever it is. Maybe it's a complete different type of career. Maybe you're moving, maybe you're starting from scratch, whatever it is. But yes, with the death card, it's about letting go. And maybe you have to let go of um, um, past dynamics, ways of working, ways of making money, or letting go an environment, a place, a city, a country. It's possible. It's just the change, and it's the end of a chapter. So um, it's, it's about you accepting the change the transition but I think it's natural because it's something you've worked so hard for so it comes almost as a natural thing that you know that by finally making this happen automatically it's a big change in your life automatically you really have to let go of things you're not the same person because you're in a new dynamic in a new energy
Yes. There's that obligation. No choice. It's happening. Justice card. It's self-explanatory. There's, there's no choice in the matter. Yeah. There we go. The obligation. Or mandatory, right? That's what the justice is about. Um, making that choice or this green light or this new, you know, finally the opportunity to move this forward, whatever it is, automatically triggers that decision, major decision where everybody's got to comply because one cannot go without the other. It is the obligation to comply and do the right thing. But it's not, it's not even doing the right thing. It's like assessing the situation um, and it's making a tough decision, but it's to finalize your situation and carefully making that decision with the judgment. I mean, you have the death card and the judgment. Powerful, powerful change here. Rising up, rebirth, um, big change of destiny, big change of career, or big change of direction. I mean, the death card, the judgment, the justice, and the strength. You've hung in there. Good for you. Powerful, powerful change. That, you know... This sense of obligation is there. Like, everyone has to comply. There's no other choice than to make this decision. But also, this decision there, whether it's made by you or another entity or by the company or by just the universe shuffling things around, to put everybody back in their place, back into balance. So whatever you're leaving behind, whatever has triggered this change, or whatever you've worked so hard on and finally convincing or finally being able to move forward, that has affected not only you but other people. And so now this decision is putting everybody back in their place. And now you can move forward and you can move forward on a smoother energy. That's what the justice is all about. Balance. Bringing back that balance, but sometimes with harsh truths or harsh decisions where there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Got to do it. Got to do the right thing. We have the king of pentacles. Financially, financially stable. But this can also be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn making this decision or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with whom you're working on this because he is rooting the three of pentacles. So maybe this is a person you're working with, can be a manager, can be a boss or can be a partner, can be someone you're, you know, that you're moving forward with on this situation. And that can be the person making this decision. Yes, look at that. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is someone very comfortable financially. I feel like I feel like this is someone you're working with or at least someone that is existing in this in your professional life. I mean, it doesn't have to be professional life. It can be, you know, a family member, uh, someone around you, but it's someone very, pretty powerful that has a certain success and he's, he's coming up twice, not gender specific, of course, but this energy is coming up twice that tells me that it's, it's a sense of abundance but it's also a person that's able to um, have success in a creative task, in a creative project, 
in a business. This is someone very ambitious, but also has a certain financial security right? Can be a patriarch, can be a family member, can be a friend, can be an older person, but it, it's a, a business person. It's someone that's very reliable, but highly, highly ambitious and loves, you know, all about um, material satisfaction and confident, confident in managing wealth, confident in managing money. And this is a person, so maybe this is both of you, if it's a partner or someone that you have convinced to work with on this idea, product, development, whatever it is, right, that you've been work, working so hard at. And this is like the opportunity for growth and success. And so it's almost like you associating with this person, you're becoming that same type type of person, identifying opportunities for growth, or they have identified you for your opportunity, for your idea, finally. And so they're investing in you and they feel like they're investing wisely, sort of long-term, or you're both investing wisely because you're transforming that vision into something very tangible and you worked really hard for that. And I think that this is going to become successful. I feel like there are two people here. This can be uniquely you, Cancer, with this power, the power of ambition. And But I feel like there's another person behind this that, you know, that has wealth or that is helping you financially or that is investing in your idea or investing in your in your business or or believing in your idea right and um starting to work with you on it yes so we have again the two of wands that vision that goal that business that idea you're preparing and interesting okay so yeah well interesting no you've been waiting for a long time with this hangman so that's nothing uh surprising but it's taking a different turn like you're seeing things differently now so maybe you've convinced people to do this or now you're starting your business or moving forward on this but it's it's moving forward in a different way and maybe this person you didn't expect this person to come in Maybe it's, this is someone that's investing or that believes in you that you didn't expect because it's taking a different path here with the hangman. And I think maybe you've been pushing, pushing, pushing a narrative that wasn't working. And then when all of a sudden you, you took a moment to reassess or reevaluate this idea, this product, this business, this whatever it is, right? And... Um, something new came up this person came up and so, sort of out of nowhere you now um have are seeing this in a whole different way than what you expected or this person came in in a whole different way than you expected i really feel like uh you didn't expect this so take time out of your routine to connect with this new way of seeing these new people this new way of working it's different. You're going to think differently and you're probably going to work, be working with a whole different array of people. And you do have the death card. So you are leaving a whole chapter behind, accepting to heal, to understand, to, um, yeah, to just to move into a whole new energy. But I like this hangman because this tells us that it's unexpected. Or even if you were waiting for a really long time to, for this moment, whatever it is for you, and comment down below, let me know what this is. Um, you, you, you weren't expecting it from this person or from this company or in this way. Hmm interesting. 
so obviously you have to make a decision or someone's got to make a decision because it's a whole new it's a whole new path with the judgment it's a change of destiny but you're also rising up to something that makes sense to you that's more important to you um, and also people are seeing you recognizing you and that's probably why they are identifying a good idea and they want to associate or help or partner up or something and the judgment is also about healing healing past deceptions wounds maybe you know past sacrifices or you you tried many times to make this happen over and over and finally bingo this is it i love it love it all right let's see if there's one last message for the road cancers weekly money and career june 10 to the 16th 2024 let's see if there's one last message for the road cancers Yeah, they're getting out of that. Exactly, because I feel like because you have the death card and the judgment and the justice and the strength, all of this just empowers something, a struggle or a long haul, right? Waiting, waiting, not happening, people not seeing you, people not understanding that this is a fantastic idea or, or they should invest or they should look at you because you got something really, really cool to sell, whatever it is, right? And, and it's sort of like you brood, yeah, look at this, page of wands and ace of cups. So you are really in your power finally finding the right team, finally the utter joy of finding the right team, connecting to the same sort of mindset, uh, people thinking like you, developing like you, creative, whatever it is, whatever it is you're trying to create, whatever it is that you finally made happen. And it's really the way it feels. Detaching yourself, that's why you have the death card, detaching yourself from the old ways. Um, maybe you had a contract with a company that you had to get out that you couldn't get it out get out and you, you had to wait it out right something like that or maybe you're waiting it out now or maybe you felt restricted because no one listened to you or no one cared and no matter how you uh, tried to pitch your idea or try to weigh in or be creative or find solutions ideas no one cared no one listened to you maybe there's a new management but I don't think it's that I really think it's you embarking on a whole new journey with someone here helping you financially or believing in you or investing in you partnering up whatever it is whatever it is it's someone powerful financially powerful um and um someone sort of taking you out of there and putting you on a pedestal so you can shine wow yes look at this i mean you have the devil stuck stuck not able and 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 stuck in manipulative energies people not listening to you or people siphoning your 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 ideas almost right to page of wands a whole new energy getting your dynamic back your enthusiasm back having a whole bunch of ideas right and now you're in the right spot with the right people or you're able to start your own business or it just feels like it's a think tank with people like-minded right where you can they're going to listen to you and you can express your ideas but not only that but you can just be yourself be your creative self wow beautiful reading uh cancer it's beautiful absolutely amazing reading i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did i feel like the magic word is um wow uh <laughs> bingo there we go bingo because it, it's the yeah it, it's uh, i wouldn't say it's the holy grail but it's like Finally, people see me and, and understand how amazing this idea is or whatever it is, right? So bingo, if you're interested in putting your name in the hat, you can um, uh, put the word bingo down below in the comment section and don't forget to be subscribed. Uh, thank you. Thank you to each and everyone for connecting to this channel, for watching uh, these readings. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart, gratitude to each and every one.
for pushing this channel forward. Have a great week, Cancers. Take care. Bye-bye.